This guy goes to catch a wild anaconda by hand. Look, I wouldn't do this for a million dollars. Like, I'm not kidding. On female is unbelievably powerful and has a mouthful of very sharp teeth. See, see, see. Listen to her hiss. Yeah, she's not too happy. We're going to put her back in the water again right away because she's in the middle of a shed and she's not too happy right now. But we're not going to hurt her. Everybody's clear? Yeah. OK. There she goes. A gigantic werewolf looking Canadian wolf patrols the scene at Yellowstone. So in Russia, a bear chases a dude and somehow is hit by a bus. The bear ends up being okay, and at the end of the video ends up chasing that man again. The question has to be why this man is just standing there with his cell phone as if the bear is not there. A group of guys on scooters encounter some tigers and don't seem to be in as much of a hurry to get out of there as they should be. Think about the cojones you would have to have to disturb an angry spitting cobra. The beast was not here for the foolishness. So a lynx is not a bobcat, but they are in the same family. So I will include this. These two lynxes have a heated argument. This dog does not want this condor anywhere around. Luckily for the dog, condors only eat dead things, so even without this glass, it wouldn't become a meal. A huge tiger patrols the scene, but luckily for these tourists, the animal doesn't seem too agitated, at least not yet.
A man is on the hunt for elk and finds some dangerous wolves there as well. This is at Yellowstone where some humans who are backpacking encounter two wolves including a black wolf. A bobcat that has been trapped in a cage wants out, like, uh, right now. Um, no, nah, Mr. Bobcat. You are going to have to calm down a bit first. I ain't ready to be turned into mincemeat. The lightning quick mongoose has an encounter with a black mamba. Ooh, that's not a happy snake. That is awesome. This man was driving in the Canadian Rockies and encountered this beautiful wolf just relaxing on the side of the highway. Um, we're out doing our thing on the weekend and we're heading back. We're on Southern Vancouver Island and we just saw a wolf. This is in Vancouver Island where this couple came across a wolf relaxing and then 500 meters down the road came across another wolf. Neither wolf seemed too thrilled with them being there and so the couple left without incident. Look, imagine being perched up, waiting on a deer so that you can have some like nice deer sausage when you come across a big wolf. Thank goodness this guy is not on the ground. <laughs> Two enormous grizzlies run by onlookers like they're not even present. A grizzly bear chases a mother black bear and her cub. Oh, 
It appears perhaps these giant beasts have possibly made friends with this dog and these humans. A king cobra is fed up with these humans and is close to showing them before he is subdued. This tiger was so well hidden, it would have been so easy to miss it. <laughs> How much would they have to pay you to go underwater and this close to a wild anaconda? A man on his snowmobile chases a wolf on a frozen lake. Black Bear makes it known to a tiger that it is ready to defend itself if it needs to. When I first watched this, I thought it was like a pet cobra or something, but no, nah, this man is actually doing this to a wild king cobra. Wowzers. What animal do I keep telling you is not one to mess with? Perhaps the most ferocious animal in the world pound for pound is the honey badger. A python almost sends this one to badger heaven before, with a little help from a jackal of course, the ferocious animal turns the table on the snake.
a rabid bobcat who was not very happy to see this officer and he gives the man some teeth and claws to let him know. I'm not sure why this donkey is messing with this much larger camel. I didn't even know camels actually bite other animals like this, but uh, this was uh, very interesting and, 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 and kind of sad to see. Uh, I just hope the donkey is okay. A python finds out that bagging a leopard is not as easy as it thinks. Him already. Got him already. No, no, he didn't. He didn't. But he's silly, what? He's not running. Coral snakes are highly venomous, but this guy handles one like a doggone earthworm or something. Very pretty snake. Very deadly snake. Very docile snake. And you can always tell if it's a coral snake or not because he's got a black head. All coral snakes, the end of their head is black. And I'm only shaking because of the coffee. A bobcat has its foot caught in a trap and is very unhappy about it and wants it to be known. We're going to let this one go. I'm going to go ahead and get her out of the trap. With some help from my assistant. On the other side of the camera, <laughs> they have a tendency to hold the grudge. Go on. I'll throw the catch pole at her. <laughs> the people in this car got the scare of their lives when a bear manages to open the car door. <laughs> Аккуратно. Молодец, молодец. молодец. Еще одну держи. Хайвай. Feeding a bear out your driver's side window just seems like a bad idea, doesn't it? What happens if the same bear walks up one day to someone who is eating their food in peace and minding their business, and that person doesn't want to share their food with the bear? Да, он меня въебет, а потом чё? Да не въебет. Слюни, блин, а? На, забирай, забирай, забирай. Молодец, красавчик. Артин, тут его водичка ведь требу. Стоп, стоп, стоп. Стать полог, стать у пик полог. Ласался треха. This is in Romania, where a young-looking brown bear looks to be very curious initially just trying to see what these humans were up to. At some point, this skier takes off and the bear's instinct to chase kicks in. 
The bear chased the man for quite a while too. Hi, there they are. Tu tot alegi, tu tot alegi, dar n-ai ce să faci. Mă pare. Te dăm schiul. Ai pus sână, dragule? Obosiș, a? Wild boar are very aggressive, even as a young piglet. Imagine how mean this thing would be just one year later. A man owns not only one dangerous wildcat, but two, a jaguar and a tiger. These are nutrias, a type of invasive rodent species that aren't too uncommon in Texas. They can eat up to three pounds a day. It's food of choice, plants. And if there are a lot of these guys. It was just kind of like, oh my gosh, I can't believe how many of them there are. This is in Fort Worth, Texas, where there is a huge nutria problem. Nutria are an invasive rodent species, which kind of look like a muskrat and beaver mix, although they are bigger than a muskrat and smaller than a beaver. People often call them swamp rats. Many of you have never seen what happens when an animal gets sprayed by a skunk. This dog found out the hard way. Ah, Susie, no! Don't you bite him! Ah. What's the matter, Susie? <laughs> Something bothering you, Susie? Say, are you okay? Look at you! <laughs> <laughs> look at it. look at the skunk still say come on get some more <laughs> trying to get it off Anita knows these wolves and had been away from them for a while this is the reunion check out how they lick Anita all around her mouth which for wolves is a big part of building trust but let me ask you could you let some wolves do this? Like, let me know in the comments. If you guys look, I'm literally sitting face to face with the wild and highly venomous Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. I have no idea how this genius avoided getting bitten by this agitated rattlesnake, but somehow he did. Why are people so crazy? I'm not oh. A man has a very close and interesting relationship with a dangerous wild boar. Anita's 
황수만 해줘서도 할아버지 이참에 구경꾼 모여들고 옆집 개인들 이만큼 순할 소냐 절로 맞절에 감탄 연발이다 Asmanian devils have the strongest bite of any mammal on earth. This one is a bit curious of what these humans are up to. Hello. Hello. Good day. You are just awesome. Hello. A pet tiger makes a run for its owner as soon as the owner turns his back. A man is on his snowmobile looking to go feed some wild lynx when he finds a much larger predator. Come on, fella. Come on. <whistles> That's the kind of wild leaf we see out here. Come on. Yeah, baby. What would possess anyone to be this close to a warthog? I mean, who the heck knows? <laughs> this crocodile wants to know who suddenly turned the lights out. This pig wasn't trying to cause chaos, at least not this time. <laughs> what a lens type story. <laughs> this man who is dressed up like Superman is taunting crocodiles for no apparent reason. Massive tiger is seen crossing the road. Vi a bardo degli ubaldi, raga. Guardate, mannaggia, madonna, guarda che macchinata che piamo, oh. E raga, ecco, raga. Porco Dio, spara. Guarda che roba, oh! Via Barda degli Ubaldi! Porco Dio la ciccia, ella! Naggia Cristoforo Colombo! Eh, che lo vi è! Guarda che roba, oh! Mi ha... A tiger gets impatient with some men in a jeep who insist on being a bit too nosy for the tiger's liking. 
पकड़ ले जोर से पकड़ ले The Siberian tiger is the largest cat on earth. This gives you an idea of just how big they are. They are endangered with only about 500 of them in the world total. This particular Siberian tiger is spotted in northeast China while a woman is driving at night. Most of the time, when an encounter or a fight happens, you can make sense of it. You hear him? Down goes Frazier! Down goes Frazier! Down goes Frazier! But in the animal kingdom, you never know what the heck's going to happen. Make sure to watch to the end, and you will be amazed at the animal encounters on this list. These dogs got a bit more than they bargained for when they confronted a very formidable monitor lizard. And this one's not even that big. Godzilla here wanted a big chunk of canine meat. And I think he at least made his presence known that he ain't playing. A man drives around in a caged up Toyota Land Cruiser, throwing chickens out to feed the tigers. Um, sir, I think you need a lot more food than that, sir. <laughs> a king cobra and a python get into a brief skirmish. My question is why is the python holding his head like this? Did perhaps he get bitten and the venom is taking effect? I mean this is pretty insane. The gutsiest dog you have ever seen decided to take on two full grown lions by itself. Here is possibly the biggest boar you have ever seen looking for your leftover Chick-fil-A. The trash, this video of a giant wild boar scrounging for food for his babies in Hong Kong is going viral on social media. You can see the three piglets patiently keeping watch as their hungry daddy stands on two legs to hunt through the dumpster. It's safe to say people avoided taking out their garbage while that big family was around. That thing's huge, and it almost looks like a grizzly bear. Yeah, man, which is true. We've seen videos like that. Can you imagine they're over there, and they're probably seeing videos of grizzly bears doing the same thing, obviously looking for uh, beer cans to exchange for <laughs> aluminum. <laughs> a young lion who tries to go and get some water buffalo uh, makes a huge mistake because the lion almost got what it wanted, but uh, eventually reinforcements were called in.
A bear even this young makes a fantastic grappler. I spoke about this one like a week ago, but since I'm doing a boar video, here it is again for you that have not seen it. <laughs> Look at this angry little bacon bite trying its hardest to get at this guy. Two thirsty bobcats come into a backyard and find an endless supply of drinking water. But they need water. I don't want to scare them. I don't think we should scare them because I don't think it's good for them to drink that. Oh, videotape him. Should I stop? Um, hell to the gnaw. This is in Indonesia where this wild crocodile actually seems to be pretty docile and is awaiting some food by these humans. These greedy boar gang up on a woman and steal her food. This is in India, where this man is unbelievably close to not one, not two, not three, but four huge crocodiles. Like, what would happen if one day this man just kind of slipped on one of the wet rocks? Like, not like fall on the water, but just kind of lose his footing. I mean, he would be some beef jerky, like real quick for these beasts. This guy is on a trail and thankfully notices a pretty big gator up ahead. At one point, the gator kind of whips around and the situation could have been very nasty had he been a little bit closer. Just gonna leave my own. I will not be filming my epitaph. He doesn't attack the senhora? 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 This is in Brazil where, again, people feel the need to taunt alligators. Had this woman not turned around in time, she could have very easily been a snack for the gator. People are going to learn one of these days. This is in Rome where some wild boars, and I mean a bunch of them, roam around presumably doing what pigs do, which is looking for something to eat. Frisco is an affluent suburb in Dallas, which is where I live. Frisco have had lots of like coyote sightings and recently have been seeing more and more bobcats. 
Well, people living there have asked us, what is the city doing to keep wildlife in check? Yeah, we sent David Goins to find out after someone actually spotted a bobcat. It isn't a long video, but you still get a good look at a bobcat jumping a fence and strolling through a Frisco subdivision Tuesday morning. It's a video neighbors and the canals at Grand Park Development are already well aware of. That's supposedly a female bobcat that goes up and down the uh, alleyway. Carl Shazar is paying attention because he just started a pet sitting business. I will be walk walking lots of pets and watching out for uh, unwelcome wildlife. Unwelcome on a walk, perhaps, but urban wildlife are certainly part of life in North Texas and particularly in Frisco of late, where coyote sightings are commonplace. We've seen several examples. A coyote leap a seven foot fence with ease and on at least two occasions, one last fall and another last month, coyotes have attacked joggers. And in another encounter, a family pet was bit twice. Make lots of noise, yell, scream. Um... Try to stay out in open spaces. That's about the best I can do. This is at Kanha National Park in India, where a tiger voices its displeasure with some humans in its way. Oh. This rooster wants all the smoke with this cat and is not in the least bit intimidated. This dog did end up getting away from this kangaroo, but not before the crazy roo tried its hardest to drown the dog. <laughs> like I've always heard that kangaroos like will go to the water much of the time just to try to drown its opponent, but just seeing this is pretty sobering. I'm glad the dog got it. In an effort to show you what beautiful and perfectly designed creatures they are, I attempted to handle one. At first, the mother doesn't stir during the circus on the embankment. A man is trying to get some baby alligators to show them off. Like with mommy gator close by. Uh, not a good idea. That says everything. Did you hear? Did you hear that little noise that you made? That no, 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 no. Get the fuck out of here. We gotta get out of here, man. <laughs> a young tiger thinks it has an easy meal when it goes after a sloth bear's cub. Hell hath no fury like a mama sloth bear scorned. A big boar and its piglets head out for a stroll. This croc does not take too lightly to a leopard trying to rob it of its meal. That didn't stop the leopard from trying multiple times, but to no avail.
I bet you never thought you would see an alligator get chased away by geese. Look at this. Oh my God. You're not afraid of it. Huh? Number nine, PJ Nash. <laughs> oh my God. A leopard hides in plain sight right there in the snow. <laughs> All these are allegedly rescued wolves being shown. And that's evident in a way because these humans could not get them under control. As wolves, of course, they're not used to like wearing a leash. A wolverine might be the strongest animal pound for pound in the animal kingdom. Not sure what kind of dogs these are, but a couple of them look like Caucasian shepherds, which uh, let's just say they are enormous guard dogs. The wolverine had a friendly reminder for these dogs. I'm not locked in here with you. <laughs> You're locked in here with me. <laughs> This snake made a mistake it will never forget. Or rather, it will never remember because uh, this is its end of the road. <laughs> Some dogs go at a bull, but unfortunately from the wrong end. Idiotic humans cheer on this craziness instead of separating the bull and the flying dogs. Yeah, don't stand there. I mean, I you make me nervous, Maximo. Maximo. This saltwater crocodile is 16 feet long and just relaxing. But it's amazing how quickly these gigantic beasts can go from relaxed to a full-fledged missile out of the water. Come on, big boy. Whoa. I wish I could have just recorded that. <laughs> An alligator handler almost involuntarily retires from his job in the blink of an eye. So a lot of the times you can... Whoa. See? See what I'm talking about? She's training this animal to take me out. Like, I'm gonna walk. So a lot of the time, you can... Whoa. See? See what I'm talking about? An eagle is eating its food when this crane makes a pretty stupid mistake and pays a heavy price. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> 
like how the eagle kind of sets the food down like, uh, yeah, come on, you want some? Come on and get it, buddy. Crane tried and Crane failed miserably. A fox exhibits some very strange behavior. It's not clear if the fox is rabid, but it's definitely likely. An unlikely encounter between a lynx and a wolf. Check out this cat that has the balls of steel and actually chases a bear up a tree. Folks, I am not making this up. This is going to be one hell of an insurance claim. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I would have done. Get back in the car. Well, actually, I would have probably never been out of the car, but maybe that's just me. Three grizzly bears seem to be just chilling when this one started running out of nowhere. Isn't it amazing how fast bears are to be so big? What a family thought was a turtle <laughs> turned out to be a much larger and much more dangerous animal. Look, Mom, there's a monster on the front lawn. Two little kids stare in wonder as a giant alligator ambles past the window. He looks positively prehistoric. The gator is still on the loose, wandering the neighborhood. Oh my goodness, he's going up to that house. <laughs> 
The kids were playing outside when mom Sonia first spotted the gator, hiding in the bushes. They thought he was a turtle. As the gator moved on, mom hit the record button on her cell phone. Whoa! Get back in the house. A Sumatran tiger manages to get about six meters up this tree in just the blink of an eye. A group of people are fed up with the snake problem in Florida and team up to hunt the majestic serpents. An invasive species in the Florida Everglades is threatening the area's sprawling ecosystem. Burmese pythons are, are apex predators at the top of the food chain. South Florida has hired 25 top hunters to capture and kill the snakes. A nearly 17 foot long python was killed last week. Now it is the longest captured so far in this program. Have a articulating jaw and that allows them to be able to, to eat and swallow uh, just massive objects that you would not think that a snake could do. Leo Sanchez and Nicholas Banos nabbed this 15 footer. It weighed 144 pounds. We saw up close the one Sanchez and Banos caught. Dead but still intimidating. I do this because it needs to be done. In hunters like him, this opportunistic predator may finally have met its match. A biker observed some tigers, or more accurately, some tigers observed this biker. The biker gets the hint eventually and does the smart thing and leaves. I don't know at what point that this swimmer noticed this huge crocodile following him, but uh, holy moly. Casually going for a swim in a beautiful remote part of Mexico? Well, you should probably watch out for the locals, as this man got the shock of his life when a huge crocodile chased him to shore. Amateur footage has emerged showing a swimmer frantically trying to reach the beach whilst being stalked by a massive crocodile. Panic tourists on the overhanging Boca Pilot Bridge watched in terror as the man made a beeline for dry land. As the crop drew closer, luckily a quick-thinking onlooker threw a large object in the water to stop the snapper in his tracks. This is in central Minnesota, where a wolf is trying to find his way home. A St. Cloud man had a rare up-close encounter with a wolf. It happened on Sunday morning when Tyler Netter and his wife were driving through the town of Rice near Highway 10. The wolf appeared to be trying to find its way into the woods. That, it was out in the middle of the day. They're one of the most elusive animals out there. Not a husky or a shepherd but a gray wolf. Right away, he just looked like he had a mission. He was on a mission to go somewhere. Tyler and his wife got video and took pictures. The DNR says seeing wolves anywhere in the state is rare, but they have been known to occasionally venture into central Minnesota and even the southern part of the state. Minnesota's wolf population has grown in recent years. Last year was estimated there were about 2,300 wolves in the state. 
They are still listed as a threatened species. It's possible this deer could be looking for food too. They, they go after white-tailed deer, but at the same time, you know, make sure you watch your livestock, your pets. Those yeah, kind of attacks, yeah. rare again, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's kind of interesting. This was that near was St. Cloud, Bryce, Minnesota. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you don't see them like that. Not very often, right. no. Right. Thank you, John. Thank you. You Thanks for watching. I'm Curtis. See you next time. Well in the sand like a fish on land. Like a fish on land.